Uh, okay. Is she AFK? We can't risk chasing further. But yeah, it's time for some crit misfortune once more. And maybe we get a longer game this time so we can actually see how the Dark Harvest Rune page performs in the late game. <laughs> Hello my fellow misfortunates and welcome to... Uh, oh. Thanks, Soraka. Welcome to Platinum 1 promos of uh, my Platinum Smurf. We are slowly but surely getting closer to dying. Oh, why? Okay, that Soraka is seriously annoying. But yeah, we're going for full crit. And obviously an early execution is calling to um, show that Soraka who's boss. And uh, they will reach level 2 here. This Karma definitely did not notice. Costing me my heal and her flash. Yeah. Okay. So we missed some minions, but not too many. Could be worse. And if Karma doesn't take too much damage from now on, we should be fine, shouldn't we? So, we should pressure Kaisa in the early game, obviously, because she scales quite well. Oh god, that damage. Nice. Okay, as long as we can focus Soraka, we're actually doing a good job, because she can't heal herself, right? Except if she lands Qs, which she does. <laughs> that Karma looks so clumsy. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Yo, we just keep getting hit left and right by those mm, Soraka Qs. We definitely need to stop that if we want to win the lane. Going 3 points in Q for the lane phase uh, with the crit build and then W max for level 10, in case you don't know. And the item order is uh, Triple Dorans into Essence Reaver into Infinity Edge. For this game, however, it's double Dorans plus Executioner's Calling instead of triple Dorans because uh, we need the item slot for healing reduction. Oh, they dodged that so easily. I need to save my mana a little bit right now. Taste of Blood in the lane phase is so strong though. This build is certainly no joke in the early game. Taste of Blood in lane is it's essentially cheating. It's such a good rune for the lane phase. But yeah, I really want to see how this build performs in the late game. Good job. <sighs> okay. We fight with numbers advantage and we lose. <laughs> But yeah, this karma went in too aggressively. Now I need to try and farm under tower. Should be possible though. No! That misclick. Costing me two minions. Clicked on the wrong target. Okay, but with my base, I can get Executioners and a lo um, not a longsword, a Doran's Blade, so we should be okay. It's essentially all that, or everything we need for the lane phase ever. Uh, the melees are under tower, so this is not a freezable wave. It's still a little bit awkward, though. I mean, it's fine. Uh, Karma can soak up some experience here. And yeah, now we can actually fight them. It doesn't matter whom we focus, because even if we focus Kaisa now, we do have the healing reduction to cope with Soraka's healing. But yeah, I really hope that um, the next time we get a gank from our jungler, the enemy doesn't turn around and kill us. Kaisa's a big power spike with BF Sword.
I, I thought I healed too late again, but luckily it was still on time. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Ouch. Two Dorn's Blades is obviously less life still than three, but it's still good enough, isn't it? Especially as we start stacking up our Taste of Blood, and also taking into consideration that we got... No, stacking up our Bloodline, and taking into consideration that we got Taste of Blood for the earlier stages. So, for this stage right there. Need to be somewhat careful with mana. Mana usage. But as soon as we get Essence Reaver, we should be fine. Even in CS. And even in kills. But typically you want to win lane against Kai'Sa, not go even. Because she's super strong in the late game. I wouldn't mind Nunu coming bot lane after red buff. Waves in the middle. This should be a good gank opportunity for him. Nice. Kaisa flash. Perfect. That's a successful gank right there. We get a flash and they don't get a, a significant cooldown. A significant cooldown out of uh, any of us. That didn't go too well. Nunu wasted a little bit too much time. We also don't know where Kha'Zix is. So I don't want to go too aggressive for no reason. Just farming it up is honestly fine. Crit Misfortune is uh, quite strong in the late game, obviously, and I haven't ever reached late game with Dark Harvest Crit, but in theory... Okay, we just die now, don't we? We'll lose our flash. Yeah, I also made a mistake there. When I ult, I just invite Soraka to cancel me instantly with her uh, silence. I can't ever ult until I know her silence is on cooldown. Else it's just way too easy for her. I also wouldn't mind going back soon. I have enough for boots and BF sword. Looks like they are recalling here, so I push with W. I don't have much mana, but I have enough for two more Ws, right? Punishing their Drake. They're sneaking behind us right now. Okay, that was way closer than I anticipated. <laughs> I thought we might turn and kill the Soraka, but hell, that was risky. Um, yeah, I don't mind finishing boots early-ish. Don't have items, uh, item slots available right now, which means we need to finish boots with our next base, but it's okay. I mean, it's crit misfortune, and we don't have a big mana pool. Which means attack speed is very important, because if you have enough attack speed, um, that means you can manipulate minion waves without using your abilities. And that means you have the mana to use your abilities when you actually need them in fights, right? I'm not sure why she clears that wave, I could have gotten all of these minions easily. But yeah, not anymore. Those type of support players who pretend you do, not, you do no longer exist, 
Just because you're not on their screen right now. Oh well. Dude. Why? Nice. Kazakh's top side. So, and any top side, so we don't need to worry about anything. Huh. Anything. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> yeah, what's the worst pun you've heard today? Was it this one? Or do you have another one for me? Let me know. Slightly behind in CS, and also, Kaisa finished her item. Which means we need to be wary. But yeah, we can just keep pushing, it's okay. Just pressure her away from the wave. Punish her under tower. She's super low right now. We can dive her. With this wave. Oh no, she dies. Good job, Karma. <laughs> that was such a free kill, but I'm not sure what she's doing. Um, I'll take these, go back, get Warhammer, get Boots. Sounds like a good play. Alright, 1.6k, that's exactly the gold I need. But yikes, that was awkward. It was such a free kill on Kaiser, but uh, the coordination between us... Not the best, not the best. But hey, if we were stomping them right now, then we again would not see the late game power of that build. So actually that's fine by me. I want to help them, I need to push that in first. Killing spree. On that Kaiser. Why? How? Definitely drew the short end of the stick um, in terms of support. But what can you do? I mean, that's League of Legends. Sometimes the enemy gets the better team, sometimes you get the better team. However, it's important to learn how to play even when your team is not doing as well. And if you need to do the carrying. And, I mean, I try to explain as best I can what the best um, potential play is. If you want to learn more of those, if you want to get bombarded with educational League of Legends content so you can grow as a player and rank up to the next elo, then make sure to subscribe because I upload daily, not only gameplay, but also the occasional guide. Got a lot of things planned for preseason, so stay tuned. I'm so excited uh, about that new item update. I love uh, experimenting with items and with runes, as you see. And um, if Riot are staying true to their promise, then itemization will get way more interesting. Nice. Finally. 
converted that uh, fat Kaiser into a big juicy shutdown gold. Into a shutdown gold. Into, into a shutdown gold paycheck. Okay, now it works grammatically. <laughs> oh, English. Nice, got the tower. In case you wonder, in case you're new to Misfortune or this channel, the crit build is typically played with the press the attack rune page. So press the attack, overheal, bloodline, uh, coup de grace, and... I think I go for this. And um, then secondary runes are either Nimbus Cloak Gathering Storm or Nimbus Cloak Absolute Focus works too. But what I prefer is uh, Magical Footwear and Biscuit Delivery for secondary runes. However, I do think this Dark Harvest page has a lot of potential, especially because you get 18 extra attack damage from Eyeball Collection, plus an infinitely scaling Keystone, which makes your late game build even stronger. Nice, got him. Also, Dark Harvest scales quite well with attack damage. And Misfortune buys pretty much exclusively attack damage. You can buy Rapid Fire Cannon if you really want to. However, I would not recommend it. Just stacking AD is way better in pretty much every case. Oh god, what a terrible ulti. Don't look at this, guys. Close your eyes. For some reason I thought they would be kiting downwards, but yeah, that didn't happen. But hey, I got red buff, so there's that. Tanked it. I do have ultimate hunter, so I get my ulti back quite soon, but if I had it right now, I would feel way more comfortable. Don't want to get killed by Annie. Or by Trundle. So let's play it safe. I'm not a fan of this dive, but for now it works out. Yeah, okay, we got way more than we should in a dive like that. Let's take the tower now. Next one might be a little bit of a stretch. Oh, well, it depends. I mean, two of them are still dead. Okay, yeah, I, I, I think this is an overstay. And by I think, I mean I'm absolutely sure we shouldn't stay here. Yeah, let's reset and um, spend our gold. Everything else looks like griefing. <sighs> if the team sticks around, I can't just ditch them though. Okay, finally we go um, to our own safety zones. I mean, if you stick around there in the enemy jungle with all of them respawning, just having bought items, you're just asking to get killed. And I'm worth quite the shutdown, so I don't want that to happen. Let's push one more wave so we can prepare dragon. I didn't get to base here, but um, it's fine. Doran's Blades and Essence Reaver are enough power right now, I suppose. Obviously, if I had the opportunity to, I would have based to exchange one of those blades for a BF sword. But I mean, it's, it's still fine. We're still decently strong. Don't sleep on Doran's Blades. They are super efficient. 
and we get yet another 20 minute game. I mean, I'm not complaining about a win, but come on, I want to go to late game with this build at least once. I want to see how it feels, I want to showcase it. I guess we need to play it again though. Um, <laughs> stay tuned for Platinum 1 promos. If you want to see the press the attack version of this build, then click the link on your screen right there. A big thank you to all my Patreons and channel members. If you want to become a Patreon yourself, just go to patreon.com slash mfdb. But if you rather save your money, you can support me for free by clicking the like and the subscribe button.